Hey, happy Tuesday, amigos. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome on back for another cheeky week. Uh, today, we've got the uh, streamer choice of uh, Dish to do today, so the Noki, because uh, uh, you guys decided to get to level 5 hype train last week, so uh, that's a new thing that's going on. So if we ever get to level 5 uh, hype train, uh, we always choose a. D you guys get to choose a dish for the following week and uh, take over the stream, shall I say? So uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that delicious uh, gnocchi. So um, we're going to be making homemade, obviously. Uh, we're also going to do a nice, beautiful tomato sauce to go in there. Going to do some um, roasted off med veg or char grilled. Uh, we're also going to finish it off with a little touch of parmesan in there. And um, I've still got a little touch of pesto as well, which I'm going to probably chuck in there as well and give it all a good mix-up. So lots of beautiful flavors going on. So a nice, simple, straightforward, easy dish to go for today. So I uh, hope you guys and gals are going to enjoy it. I'm going to make a start uh, on the uh, baked potatoes, actually, because we need to cook them off in the oven. So... Uh, what we want to do is turn the oven on for uh, 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. Uh, we're going to give them a wash, a little bit of a poke as well. Why poke? Because you've got to let the steam out. Otherwise, sometimes they can explode in your oven. So you don't want to end up scrubbing your oven all night. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, give them a little pierce and uh, we'll pop them in the oven. So, But I uh, hope you're all doing well. How was everyone's weekend? I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I also need to weigh the potatoes as well because every uh, 300 grams... Is going to be one egg yolk and about 60 grams of double O flour. Um, so we're going to see how heavy these potatoes are. Absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> so it's about 900 there. So what do they say? 300 grams per one egg yolk and 60 grams. So I'm going to need three egg yolks and about 180 grams of flour. So that's just under 900. So that, that should be fine. Right, let's give these a little cheeky wash. Now, if you want to do these, you can actually keep the skins on and boil the whole potatoes, but I'm actually going to bake them because I prefer the baked, to be honest with you. Um, and then we're going to pass it through a rice, uh, give it a really good, nice mash down until it's super, super fine. All right, so there we go. Right, so I did say preheat my oven, Kappa. <laughs> so uh, about 350 Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius. I said it, but I didn't do it. So there we go. So I'm going to pop these straight in anyway as it's going. It's heating up. Um, so those are going to take about roughly an hour, two hours. So we don't need to worry too much about them. So while those are cooking down, we're going to start concentrating on the uh, tomato sauce at hand. So uh, slicing up the onions or dicing, shall I say. The garlic. Uh, we've got a bit of thyme going in there. Um, a little bit of honey and vinegar. Vinegar for the flavor to bring up all those beautiful tomatoes and then obviously the honey just to kind of balance that acidity. So uh, that's what we're going to be using. All right. So what we're going to do is cut this down horizontally, now vertically, keeping that root intact. Whoa. Not making too much of a mess, like I always do. Sometimes you might get a little touch, that little root in the middle. Just remove that. It's a little bit woody, so it's a good thing I found that. And then we're just going to cut it straight across. Now with the little piece or the little end, uh, what you want to do is just kind of cut that in half and then we're just going to give that a nice little kind of cheeky dice down. So three uh, garlic cloves, we're just going to grate them down over the top of the onions. So this is for the base for the uh, tomato sauce. Right, it's going to pick the uh, thyme leaves down just so we can avoid picking the stalks out afterwards and blending them down because they're not... Uh, very tasty. Uh, if you want to dice down the uh, thyme leaves, you can do, but I find them absolutely fine. But, you know, everyone's picky, right? A tablespoon of veggie or canola oil. This is canola oil, so whichever you prefer. Uh, and what we're going to do is drop our onions in. We're going to sweat them off very gently once that's heated up very nicely and uh, start cooking them down. Then we're going to dice up some fresh tomatoes. Um, we're going to add the honey vinegar and then add... A can of tomatoes as well, a little touch of water, then cook it down for about an hour or so. Right, so that's heated up nicely. So, what we're going to do, drop our onions in. So those are simmering off very, very gently, very softly. So I'm going to slice these down. So I just want to dice this. Skin, seeds, the whole lot, the whole shebang, we're going to put them in there. More flavor. Right, so we're going to add the uh, onions. So tomatoes going straight in. Get all that beautiful juice in there as well. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of apple cider. Oh, if it opens, it does. 
That wasn't really a tablespoon. That was. And about a tablespoon of honey as well. There we go. All right, so. Can of cheeky chopped tomatoes in there. We're gonna add a little touch of water, so I'm actually gonna rinse out the can with a little touch of water, so get even more flavor in there. Don't need to go crazy on the water. How much, chef? I'd say about 100, 200 ml. You don't need a lot. Just enough so it stops it from burning as it's cooking down for later on. So there we go. We're gonna do next, so I'm gonna get my um, char griller out. And we're gonna start char grilling the uh, zucchini and the peppers. Um, and I'm going to cut them up afterwards, uh, put them through the oven just to help soften them up. So, uh, and then we're going to dice them up after that. And we're just going to cut these down quite quite thick because obviously we're going to cook them down as well. We don't want to go soggy straight away, so have a little bit of a bite to it. Right, so just going to take the sides down of the pepper. Take the bottom off and also there's a little bit left on the sides as well, which we'll just kind of trim off as well. I don't want to waste anything. Right, so I'm going to go for about a tablespoon of oil in there. And then just a little cheeky pinch of salt as well. And we're going to give that a nice little mix up. Beautiful. Yeah, we've got that beautiful sizzle action now. There we go. Fantastic. Right, I'm just going to put my peppers in there because there's still a little bit of oil in that, that dish there. I'm just going to pop that first pepper in there. So, there's our mozzarella ready to go. So, so three egg yolks. I've got egg whites I can save. Da -da -da -da. No. Don't you even think about it. Yeah, you go back. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm using my hands is because um, I feel like you got more control over the uh, egg yolks, uh, whereas like these jagged edges from the, the shell, you're more than likely going to pierce them. So I always prefer using my hands because you get more control. I'm not saying that you'll never ever break your egg yolk, I'm just less likely going to break the egg yolk. So I always use my hands. People might think that's very unhygienic, but as long as you wash your hands like I do every time I've finished a job, you should be fine. 180, chef. Goodness me, that's like the third time I've asked myself. So we've got 900 grams of potatoes, three egg yolks, and 180 grams of flour. So every 300 grams, you do one egg yolk and 60 grams of uh, double O flour. So these are nice and super soft. If you want to keep the skins, you can do. Um, you could even like scoop the skins out, keep the skins. Maybe you want to fill them with, I don't know. Maybe you want to do like a little chicken curry mix. Looks like it's going to come off. No, it works. It kind of works. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Just added two pinches of salt, so they're good to go. I'm just letting them. Why have I spread them out all along the bowl? Just to kind of increase the work surface area so they cool down quicker. So, I mean, you could just pop it into a tray and, you know, Bob's your uncle, you're done. So, but, you know, you can do it this way. It's only going to take you about a minute before it cools down. This feels warm. It's not as hot as it was, so. Egg yolks are going in. Come on. That's the third one. Let me just start adding the flour little by little. So, just kind of mixing it around, making sure that kind of gets incorporated. We're looking very good. So there it is. Look at that beautiful. It's just got that little drop to it as well. So it's nice and soft. I don't want to overwork it. So I'm just going to kind of take this off my fingers a little bit and just kind of pop this back in. What we're going to do. Oh, I need to get my pan on for the water. Good. Gordon Bennett. I'm not, not with it today. So, there you go. Alrighty. So. Don't go too crazy. Alrighty, so I'm just going to cut this down again. So 
have a little dip. Do it a little bit thicker on this side. That's okay. So. Uh, Spawn Blaze, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, a little bit, bit on the thick side, but that's okay. That's fine. So. Uh, let's blend that tomato sauce down. But I'll probably complain about it. Just chop up my roasted med veg or charred slash roasted med veg. So. What I'm going to do is get, get all the sauce, get the veggies in there. Um, and then what we're going to do is just kind of like mix it up pretty much. <laughs> and then all we need to do then is just toss the gnocchi through it and serve it. So I'm just going to pop some of the veggies in there. Uh, pop a little touch of that sauce as well. Goodness me. So I'm going to go too crazy with the sauce. So sauce and the veggies are in there. So I'm just going to put that to heat up very nicely. Right, so very careful. Ow! Carefully drop these in without... Making too much mess. Right, so I'm going to do half to begin with. I'm going to overfill that pan. A little touch of pesto in there. They're starting to float. Awesome! So, let's grab our sieve. Where's our sieve? Oh, it's here. Let's grab a little bowl. Oh, you ready as well? Is there any more in there? No? Okay. Cool. So, there we go. Look at them beautiful gnocchis. Look at them. Fantastic. Super, super happy with them. I'm just going to turn that off. I also want that sieve just to kind of drain off any excess liquid that's in there, right? So I don't want that going excess going into the sauce. What we're going to do, just very carefully, just drop them in. Right. What would be easier is actually using the uh, spatula so then it won't cut through it and you can just coat them, so absolutely delightful. And there we go. So, fantastic. What we're going to do is add a little touch of uh, mozzarella just to kind of mix in with it as well. I'm not going too crazy. Just chat wanting mozzarella, right? Just a little touch. So, just being super careful, super super gentle with them so they don't break. So <laughs> right, so there we go. That'll do. Somebody forgot their uh, their cheeky bit of uh, spinach, which, uh, you know, that's okay. Beautiful. Oh, parmesan and a little bit of pesto to finish it. I want to add a little touch of extra virgin olive oil to that because it's a little dry. So a little touch of parmesan just to kind of finish it off. Not gone too bonkers. There we go. Beautiful. Um, we also had the roasted Mediterranean veg. Um, roast, uh, char grilled and then roasted with peppers and courgettes and zucchinis. And then obviously we made that um, gnocchi. Uh, so we used 300 grams of potatoes. So every 300 grams I added one egg yolk and 60 grams of double O flour and obviously the pinch of salt. So if you had like 900 grams, which is what we had, we, excuse me, we had Three egg yolks, uh, 180 grams of double O flour, and yeah, obviously the 900 grams of potatoes. So I cooked the potatoes down, baked them off for two hours till they were soft, put them through the ricer, salt, the egg yolks, the flour, rolled it, and then using the back of the end of the fork to, to roll it with your thumb uh, to make those beautiful little cheeky gnocchis. And then finished off with a little bit of spinach, parmesan, uh, had a little touch of mozzarella in there as well, fantastic. Have a great rest of your day. Much loves. Thank you for all the support. And I'll be back at 10 a.m. Mountain Time as always. Much loves, amigo. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.